Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to teach you how to set up your controller with BDO today. Uh, this is the one and only guide you'll ever need. Um, we're going to be using Steam to do this. It's the best controller mapping software we have right now since the update. Uh, so what you're going to do, first things first, is you need to add your Black Desert game to Steam if you don't already have it there. So uh, go ahead and search for it. Um, it's not going to be in a drop down list. Go to browse. Uh, default folder should be under C, Pearl Abyss. Yep. While in Pearl Abyss, Black Desert, go to bin 64 and then uh, click the click the Black Desert 64 EXE and then add the selected program. Um, what you're gonna do here now is go to Black Desert 64. Once it's added, head on head on over to controller layout. Um, you're going to be greeted with a, a bunch of things. Like, it's a non-verified game, obviously. So you, you just skip all this, hit next, uh, next, um, and close this, right? So you're going to see a controller right here. Whatever controller you have, doesn't matter. It's going to be any controller. You have templates, community layouts. You can search. If you want to just start off with, like, a basic, a basic layout, you can click any of these. Now, but for now, we're going to head on over to edit layout. So we're starting here. All right, we'll start off with, I mean, you have all your buttons here on the left, but we're going to start off with the the basic buttons, just the buttons. So A button for me, I like to have it as spacebar. Uh, spacebar, I mean, you can, you can select gamepad if you want, but for me, I'm going to go with spacebar because we, well, importantly, we want to map them to keyboard and mouse mapping. So R key for B, uh, one for X. Why I want two. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. I guess we'll yeah, make it two. I'm gonna show you guys something important. We have these activators. So go under the settings and go to settings again. You can choose. I mean, we're gonna actually add a command, extra command. So I mean you can add an extra button to this same button. So go add, add command or settings, add extra command. Well, actually, wait, let me go. Add command, uh, whatever button you want it to be. So I want it to be three, and then we need to change it to a activator. So um, actually, you can turn on turbo if you want to, but we don't want turbo. We're not going to use turbo. Not 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 turbo right now. But uh, we will be using turbo in another button later. We can just close this for now. Uh, go on over to uh, what type of press you want it to be. So. It can be regular press or what we want is long press. So when you press and hold the button, it's going to be long press. And when I, when, I long, when I press and hold the button, it'll use my three hotkey. Same thing for Y. We'll go ahead and add an extra command. Uh, we'll make this uh, four, maybe four. And go to settings, change the thing, change the press to long press. But you can make that whatever you want. Like you can do double press if you want. Uh, you can do any press. It doesn't matter. Start press, release press, soft press. But if you do start press, it has to be the controller. Like it has to be under the controller settings, not mouse and keyboard. If you're going to do start press, it has to be controller start. For bumpers, LB for BDO, I like LB to be my, my we'll actually set it to uh, my C key. I like my C key. Uh, RB, this is actually important. This is going to be my right click. So go over the mouse and make it right click. Okay. Um, like I said earlier, you want everything to be mapped to mouse and keyboard. So you don't have to use the controller UI in game, which is horrible. It's a horrible UI. We don't want to use it in game. So we just want it to be these keys here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Left grip. I want it to be uh, Q because that's just the way my mind works. Right grip, I want it to be E. Uh, it just reminds me of the keyboard. It's just a good placement for me, but you can set that to whatever you want. Select here, we're gonna make left control, which will bring us into our menus. Start, we'll make escape to exit the menus. Um, we're gonna add extra activators for these because they are important buttons, like we, we need to scroll out. So for me, I like to have um, scroll out for my select button. When I press and hold it, I like it to be a uh, scroll out. So that's what we're gonna set, a scroll up, right. That's what we're gonna set it to. 
Um, you want to add an activator. Actually, yeah, you want to turn on repeat turbo for these, right? Because you when you press and hold it, it just it just clicks scroll out over and over again. It's very fast. And the next one I want to be, uh, yeah, we want to make it long press. So when you press and hold, it will be long press. Uh, escape. We want this to be start, but we want this also to be uh, scroll scroll down. So when you press and hold start, it'll be scroll down. Make sure you change the activator for this uh, to uh, long press. Let's make it long press. When you press and hold, long press. All right. So now that these buttons are done, let's go into the triggers. Triggers are pretty important. Uh, right trigger, full pull. I'm going to go with uh, left click. Yeah, left mouse. Soft pull, same thing, left click. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Left trigger, full pull. I'm going to add a hotkey. But you can you can add anything you want, really. You can make it V or something, but I'm gonna make it five just for the purpose of this video. Uh, when you press and hold it, we're gonna add the turbo button. So like this is pretty much my oh shit button. So when I press and hold the left trigger, it's like oh shit, and it just spams that button. So we have turbo on to spam that button. So like if you're gonna be using V or something, it'll spam V for you, okay? Uh, but for me, I'm gonna keep it at five. That's good. We got turbo on. All right, let's get let's get out of here. Soft pull. Actually, we'll make it V. We'll make it V just to yeah, just to keep it going. Soft pull. Uh, we want to make this left shift. Um, because when you use left shift in game, it makes you run. This is for me personally, so you guys don't have to. Do this. You can say whatever you want, but. Left shift is for me to run, and when I use skills, I just got to soft pull that and use different button combinations. All right, let's move on to joysticks. Uh, let's see here. Left click button. Uh, this is obviously going to keep it as a joystick, right, because it's our movement. We want to make the left stick click. Me personally, I like uh, auto run. So auto run in game is going to be um, the T key. I believe so. Let's set this to the T key. T, yeah. All right. Uh, outer ring. You don't need to set that. Uh, it depends on your controller. You can do whatever you want, right? Uh, track pads. If you have a track pad, let's uh, set this up. These are like good hot keys you can have. Like you can set um your map. So what we'll do is we'll like basically your D-pad, right? So if you have a D-pad, I'll set it to M and then I will set this to inventory. Down will be quest and and uh, right will be skills, right? So I mean, you can set those to whatever you want. Click, on the other hand, I like P since P. P is going to show me all the information of my character and my drop percent chance and all that stuff. Um, you can also set the touch as well. It depends on your controller, whatever you have. It's going to it's gonna show up here. So all the buttons your controller has is going to show up in this menu. I'll just set this to P as well. So, you know, click, press and touch is the same thing. Outer ring, don't worry about it. Keep that off. Gyro, we don't really have a gyro, so we're not going to really set that up. All right. Well, then, uh, let's go ahead and see what this looks like so we have all the keys set up you can set it to whatever you want but this is just a basic layout for you if you're having trouble setting it up in the first place all right now that that's over let's go ahead and see what that looks like in game so all the basic controls are all set to be comfortable and uh, let's see how that plays here are a few little clips of me just enjoying my controller to the fullest complete couch potato status